Hey guys, and welcome to A Zero Place Blood of Light. This is my first ever Let's Play, so please be nice. I don't really know what to expect. Actually, for this game, there's a game trailer which I'll link down below in the description box. And um, let me give you a bit about the game. So, in that description, we learn that you actually control a mysterious girl who arrives at a city that is completely flooded with water. Only she possesses the ability con to control light. By using her supernatural power, you can solve various puzzles to gradually make the water recede and ultimately save the city. However, by doing so, the true purpose of this mysterious girl will also be slowly revealed to you. I personally picked this game because I thought the visuals were so beautiful and I've heard that a lot of people have enjoyed it. I know that it's available on iTunes so you can play it on the iPad or your iPhone as well as Steam and like me, if you own a Nintendo Switch, you can play it on there too. I don't know what to expect except that it's a puzzle game. I'm a bit of a noob when it comes to games like this because um, I don't typically play them that often but I thought why not. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we start off as a little girl that grew up from light. Let's just appreciate how freaking beautiful this tree is and how like gorgeous the interface and like everything is so nice. So let's okay, so it forces me to do the um, tutorial. And as you do, the water line decreases. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Um, I'm guessing that the water line re like prevents you from going to places. So let's just rock with that. The music's so like quiet. Oh, I guess this is like your like beginning screen. Yeah. Let's just jump straight into a level though, because that's what we're all here for. Um, so we start off at level 8, looks like an elevator. I literally have no clue what, what the game is or what to expect. Oh, so it says um, Peach Blossom Garden, floor 8, nice, cute name. Save point, nice, really like that too. Let's take those two, get close I think. As I go down, like my controller is vibrating. Welcome to Hope City. It doesn't look that hopeful to me, if you ask me. It says it right here in case people are wondering where I'm reading from. Um, okay, lights on the branch can be dragged to nearby light, nearby lamps. Okay, so we do that. the light you are carrying will move to the lamp when you are lighting it. Lights on the branch can be dragged to nearby lamps. An empty lamp will consume one light when lit. Okay. Oh. Another safe point. Light can't move to the already lit lamp. Puzzle games though, like sometimes they're so complicated, like nothing's so easy. Um, I wonder if I can take the light from here. And then... Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm up, that's why. 
Well, it has to start from the girl. That was so, like, oh. I just wish I could use the lights from the get go. Um, for each wick lamp lit, you will collect one wick. Nice. Oh, there's some story. Interesting. So you got the first ever male thing. So let's go for that. 7th of the 10th, 2016. Extremely heavy rain. The progress of resident evacuation, 99.99%. Now Hope City has become to a ruin. Under the extremely heavy rain, human civilization will no longer exist. The rain that takes away everything shall recover the city one day. Now, all the people in the city of the island are evacuated to another land on the other side of the ocean, except me. Because I have one final thing to do. Ancient documents recorded. When the city is on the verge of devastation, only by turning on all remaining robots and dedicating the last human of the city to the code of light, can lose on the Neverland be awakening up. Anyway, I've got nothing to lose. I'll give off myself and made it up for what I've done wrong in the past. Dr. S. Hope City. Can I just point out that this kind of looks like London town? You know, like the like the shard of the background skyscrapers. Just throwing it out. Okay, this is quite deep, like, okay, so someone's sacrificed themselves to save the city. Classic hero, classic hero move, to be honest. Um, let's see if we can do this. was really depressing. I really hope that my game is recording because if it's not I'm gonna have to redo all of it um, <laughs> so it's definitely kind of futuristic oh that's so cute that robot oh <laughs> um, we're definitely in a town that's somewhat in the future the whole atmosphere is so like not eerie it's like comforting that it's sad I don't really know how to describe it. It's it's like a weird thing. Um, I'm guessing I need to take that light. So let me just steal that off you. Oh, I can talk to him. What should I do? Someone must activate Sky Pedestal. But it, it's underwater. What should I do? That machine is holding our last hope. Finally, I've been waiting for so long. Can you help us? As you can see, the water's blocking the way. You mean diving into the water to activate the pedestal? No can do. Us robots are waterproof. Why don't you give it a try? You're human, aren't you? It is said humans always find solutions. I don't think I'm human. I think I'm like some spiritual being at this point to be able to manipulate light, but sure, robot. If human works for you, we'll, we'll stick with human. That was like a hyper beam or something ish. 
quickly over here. Incredible. The water is receding. I'm not dreaming, right? I'm joking. Of course it's not a dream. Us robots don't dream. So, are you really a human? But how can there be any living human? In here. In the Hope City. Could it be? Could it be? Could you be our guide? The guide who will bring us hope? Almighty guide! There are still seven locked pedestals deep underneath the flood. Same as the sky pedestal you just activated. According to the Revelation Codex, in the knowledge cloud that us robots share, all humans have abandoned Hope City after the flood. However, there will be a guide with human appearance have returned to the city after the flood. She activated the eighth dormant pedestal and saved all of the forgotten robots. And that's the end of the level. I missed out one wick, which I'll probably have to go back and fix because I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I want to get 100% on the game. But I don't really mind about how many steps it takes. That's a bit futile to me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and you liked the video. I know that there may be some audio issues and stuff because it's my first time recording. But we'll see how it goes. So make sure you like and subscribe to stay tuned and share it with your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one.